Hi! In today's video I'd like to show you this little puzzle that I have made. Now I got the idea and design for this thing from Mr. Bruce Yaney. If you haven't subscribed to his YouTube channel yet, you should really go do that now. The only thing I did is take his design and draw it up in Fusion 360 so that I could 3D print it. Now this thing has two cavities and each cavity contains a steel ball. And if I tilt the puzzle like this, you can see that the steel ball here rests on this little ledge. But the question is, how can we get this steel ball to rest on this ledge, while at the same time getting this steel ball on this ledge over here? And of course, if I just tilt it the other way like this, now I have this steel ball on this ledge, but now this one has fallen off. And so the question is, how can I get both steel balls on their ledges at the same time? Now, I have found two solutions for this so far, and if you'd like to think of one or two solutions yourself, you can pause the video now. Now, the first method I've come up with is to simply use some magnets. Now, this method may seem a little bit cheesy, but I think it is quite instructive. Uh, magnetic forces, along with electric forces, are unique in that they can act through a wall like this. I must say I haven't gotten this to work yet with electrostatic forces, so I'll have to continue trying with that. The second solution is to simply give it a spin. Now if you'd like to give this a try for yourself, um, you can find the file for printing this bit down in the description below. For printing it, I recommend that you put it upside down on the build plate like this, and in this case every part of this piece is either a bridge or an overhang, and so if you have decent part cooling fan on your printer, you can print this entire piece without needing any support. Now for the screw holes, I've used some sacrificial bridging, so the first thing you have to do is drill out these holes to remove the sacrificial bridge. Once you've done that, you can insert the nuts on the side here. And I've shown you how to do this before in my video on 3D printed gears. So if you're having any trouble getting the nuts in the pockets, um, you can check that out and I will leave a timestamped link in the description below. For the top cover, I've used a piece of polystyrene, but you can also use a piece of polycarbonate or acrylic or some other transparent plastic, it doesn't really matter. Um, and I've drilled two holes through it on the center line and they're 168 millimeters apart. Uh, in this case I've also countersunk the holes because I'm using countersunk screws, um, but if you're using cylinder head screws you don't have to do this. Um, but before you screw on the top of course you have to add the balls. And I'm using steel balls here, but you can also use marbles or perhaps BBs, whatever. Um, though, of course, in those cases, you will not be able to get them up the ledges with magnets, which may or may not be a good thing. And then finally, you can just uh, screw on the top and you're done. Well, I hope you found that interesting and informative. I hope to see you again soon, and thanks for watching.